okay so we will try to solve this uh, problem on the uh, y and delta connection for a three phase system three phase ac system so this uh, this problem we have uh, need to determine the ratio of the line current drawn by a three identical impedances connected in y to the line current drawn by the same impedances connected in delta so both connections being impressed with the same balance uh, y y voltages okay so let's have our solution okay, so first we will try to analyze for in the first part that is um, identical uh, which is connected in y so we will draw here our equivalent circuit so we have the coins okay so just have that one here in the line okay. let's do our best to make the line straight so okay so this will be the line so we will have our impedances so this will be zp this is zp because they are just identical so we, we have the same uh, value then we could have our so we, we could have our uh, voltages so this will be um, from here to here so this is the applied voltage so this will be vp so from here to here also is another vp and from so we could have also from so maybe this is not vp this is of our face here so this will be only up to this point so that will we have marked the line voltage okay so let's just to redraw everything so from here so from here to here this one so it's just how it will be blocking line okay so this will be our uh, phase voltage now from this point to this point okay so this will be our uh, line voltage then we have our um, line current so because this is in y so this is i and y so the this is the load so we are being supplied the by uh, y voltages balance okay so our uh, line uh, phase current ip okay so we are going now to find our i this one i l y so we could solve our I L Y because our I L Y is equal to I P and our I P so our phase current is equal to um, by Ohm's law huh? so that will be phase voltage over the phase impedance or the impedance so we could have this one as um, our I P this one or the I think our phase voltage because this is the phase this is the line so in a in a, a y connected system our our line voltage is equal to the square root of three of our phase voltage so if we are going to have that one in reverse so our line voltage is equal to is our phase uh, voltage is equal to the line voltage over the square root of 3 so we could substitute this one in here for in place of our um, uh, phase voltage so this is uh, line voltage over square root of 3 over the impedance so we have the we have solved the value for uh, the line to line current for y uh, for the y connection of the impedances now we will go to the other condition 
in the delta okay so for that we will again draw the equivalent circuit so for the delta okay okay so we have a delta so again this will be our impedances so the identical so we have here our uh, from this one so it's something like green from this one so this one is our phase voltage and also from this one to this one that is our line voltage it is the supply VEL then could have here our face now it's um, going out going inside because uh, this is our source so this will be inside so we have here our uh, face current and this will be our line current in delta okay so the line current in delta so because this is delta that is equivalent to square root of 3 of our uh, okay so of our phase current okay our phase current so we could solve our phase current because we have our phase impedance and the phase voltage so we have uh, it is equal to the phase voltage over the impedance okay then we will um we will have this one uh, in terms of the line current so our ip at the line voltage so our ip is equal to il over zp because for delta connected system okay for delta connected system the line voltage is equal to the phase voltage so so then we will substitute this one to this equation here so we have our ily uh, il delta so the li the line to line current for the delta is equal to square root of 3 times il over zp then we will simplify that one so that will be square root of 3 line to line voltage over zp then we will get now the ratio okay so the ratio so we have here just put it one here so the ratio so the ratio of let's go back to the question the ratio of the line current in y to the line current in delta so we have get the ratio okay we have our ratio as r so the ratio of the line current in y over the line current in delta so let's substitute the equations here so our line uh, line to line current in y is equal to this one el so line voltage over square root of uh, over square root of 3 uh, times the phase current so we have IL over square root of 3 times the, fa uh, the phase impedance. Our delta, and to line current delta is equal to square root of 3 uh, EL over ZP. So we could cancel this one out. Okay, so we are left with, so this is 1. So this is also 1, they cancel out. So square root of 3 times square root of 3 so square root of 3 times square root of 3 that is 3 uh, that is equal to 3 so we have 1 over 3 so the ratio now is so our ratio now is 1 is to 3 and that is our answer